for the equal opportunity and participation, um, I think a couple of things probably factor into that. I think women are excellent coaches. I think back to the coaches I had, the, I had a ton, okay? So I was, look, I was probably the second to worst player on my Boston College softball team. Like, I'm shocked I even made it. You know, they call my name. I'm like, are you sure there's not another Filarski here? <laughs> Positive? Um, my, one of my most excellent coaches um, was a female. You know, Jennifer Finley, she's my Boston College softball coach, excellent coach, motivated without um, having to resort to just scare tactics. And I, I don't, I'm not a person who necessarily always thinks like male, female, but when, when you look out at the field on the weekends, there are a lot of dads coaching and moms get snack, right? It's like me traveling with my husband. He gets all like the logistics and me, I'm going to be left in the airport with no identification and just my <laughs> snacks. So... <laughs> You know, a lot of the time, moms are on the snack patrol with the teams, but yet not in charge of what's actually happening. I love when I see moms coaching. I actually think that the leagues around the nation should maybe, um, maybe there's an initiative that can, uh, that can become what just is. You know, that's what we do. Half the coaches are women. We need, we have all the, the male coaches that we need. We need, we need some female coaches to sign up, or else we're just not going to get to play. And then, what do you know happens? Women are coaching. You know, maybe the men coaches don't want to lose to the women coaches because that's just going to happen. Um, but I, I do think there's a great cause for it. And we've seen it happen on a player level, but to see it at the coaching level would be beyond extraordinary and unbelievably necessary. Great question.